So in the last class, we have discussed about one evaluation metric called average precision, which basically combines both the recall and precision into a single metric. Earlier, we have also discussed about F measure, which is also basically uh, the harmonic mean of uh, precision and recall. But here, uh, I mean, for F measure or for precision and recall, they were actually set based measures. So there was no notion of ranking. So they contain no notion of ranking. Here in this uh, mixture of precision and recall, which is we are referring to it as a as an average precision. They actually have a component to address the rank of the document as well, particularly the rank of the relevant document as well. So we have discussed this in the last class. <clears throat> so here, uh, for uh, okay. So another thing is this is computed for a single query. So for a given query Q1, we will be getting an average precision of a system as say AP1 for Q2, which will be basically say AP2, average precision of for the query 2 and so on. So let's say you have 50 queries, so we will be having up to AP50. So from AP, we compute the mean of AP, which is called the mean average precision, or in short, which is basically the famous evaluation metric called MAP, which is basically the I mean summation of this, summation of i equals to one to say number of query in this case say fifty, AP of i by fifty. This is the mean average precision. Now, until now, <clears throat> all the retrieval model that we have discussed, uh, all the evaluation metric that we have discussed, there the relevance of the document is considered as a binary uh, value. That is a document. Any document can be either relevant or non-relevant. But we know that non-relevance is OK, but there can be some document which are I mean, I mean, very much relevant. Some of the documents can be there which are say relevant, but not very much relevant. So we can consider, we can actually make this as a graded one, like highly relevant, moderately relevant, loosely relevant, and so on. So based on that, we will be uh, will be uh, focusing on another type of metric which covers that type of graded relevance. So before that, let's discuss one uh, kind of uh, limitation, not I mean, should not be saying a limitation, but a feature which is kind of a, a negative one uh, is uh, of this AP is basically the factor of n rel here, basically, which is n rel here is basically the number of relevant document for the query Q. Note that again, average precision or AP is computed for each of the query. Now, if we have a query set, if we have a query set, let's say I'm writing this as a query set, which is containing multiple queries, say Q1, Q2, Q3 and so on, say Q50. This query can contain, say, three number of relevant documents. This can contain, say, seven number of relevant documents. The third query can actually say, can have, say, 50 number of relevant documents and so on. So the number of relevant document can actually vary. 
Now, let's say we have two queries, Q1 and Q2. Q1 is containing three relevant documents and Q2 is containing four relevant documents. Then what we are doing is essentially, so one question that you might be asked, which you might be having is, I can see the precision here. We are actually considering this rank here. So where is this recall factor is coming into the picture for in, inside this AP? So the place is here as basically <clears throat> we are factoring the average precision with the number of relevant documents in the uh, number of relevant documents present for that query. So I hope you can remember recall is basically the number of retrieved document in the denominator and the number of, uh, sorry, extremely sorry, number of relevant document present in the, and in the numerator, it is number of relevant document retrieved. So if the, for the query, we have three relevant documents, it is something X by three for Q1, for Q2, it is say some y by 4, isn't it? And for any say, say QI, it can be the case that it will be basically some z, which is the number of relevant documents retrieved by the system by say 50. So if we plot a, a graph here, in a two dimensional space where the x axis represents the recall and the y axis represents the precision, then uh, for a query having three relevant documents, for example, here Q1, we are measuring the recall at three different points. Can you say why? Anyone? I am saying for Q1, we are measuring the precision at three points. Why? And for Q2, which is containing four relevant documents, we are computing the precision at four different places. Uh, oh, so this one is this one and this one is this one. One, two, three, four. Why? So the reason is, if you look at, I mean, with this example that we have done earlier, you can see that recall is, or sorry, precision is computed whenever we, we are observing a change of recall. Remember, in the beginning, we have zero recall. And actually, I mean, we can consider a one precision. Or we can also consider a zero precision as well. So it is so far, I mean, if we consider a one precision, that means it is precise so far. That is, it hasn't retrieved, the system hasn't retrieved any re non-relevant document at least. Now, every time, so if I plot, if I make the plot, <clears throat> recall, precision, I hope you can remember the precision can have the most highest value as one, zero, and for the recall, it is also one and zero. So when we are starting, we are starting from here. Precision is one, recall is zero. Then if we break up this in the, so this is 0.5, that is recall point, I mean recall, we have achieved half recall. That is, if there are uh, say R number of relevant documents in the system, we have retrieved R by two number of relevant documents already. That means we have achieved 0.5 recall. So if we break things up here, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and 1. Okay. So here, for this query, I hope you remember we had five relevant documents. So we have actually computed the precision for five different recall points. For this point, 0 0.2, for this point, 0 0.4, for this point, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and 1. 
right? So we started with, I mean, also here. So we started with here. From here, precision remains one. Then for four, so basically, uh, for uh, recall point four, that is here, it has become 0.67. So let me consider this as a five. Precision 0.5, so it will be somewhere here. Then it is 0.5 or 0 0.6. So 0 0.6. So it is coming here. Then it is becoming basically. I mean, we are not actually uh, achieving the precision, uh, the, uh, the recall one because the rest of the two documents are never retrieved. So this is basically the plot that we are getting uh, using the mean average precision. So bottom line is we are computing the, the uh, precision at these points. And these points are basically dependent on the number of relevant documents that is present in the system, isn't it? Uh, for this case, so as you can see, for Q3, so the first, so for Q, uh, Q1, there are three relevant documents. So three relevant documents means we will be retrieving one by one the relevant documents. So after retrieving the first relevant document, the recall will be what? One by three. After retrieving the second relevant document, the recall will be two by three. And after retrieving the third relevant document, the recall will be Three by three, that is basically one. Okay, so in average precision, we are only considering, uh, we are only computing the precision at these points. This is for Q1, and for Q2, we are computing the first precision at one by four, second at one by two, third at three by four, and then at one as there are four relevant documents. So we are computing the average precision or the, we are computing the precision at these four recall points. For this, we are computing for three different recall points. So as the number of relevant document is different for different queries, uh, we are computing the precision at different point for different queries, or at different recall points for different queries. So as a, uh, I mean, this is not actually a problem, but still, to be fair with all the queries, what we can do is, we can actually make this average precision as an interpolated one. Earlier, remember, I was referring to the mean average precision as non-interpolated average precision. Here, we, what we can do is, we can consider an interpolated one. So basically, what we'll be doing is, we'll be considering the precision uh, at 11 different recall points and the 11 defined recall points will be, I mean, of course, the recall point zero, then point one, then point two, up to one. So you can understand that there are 11 points of different recalls that we can achieve. 11 points are there in between. So earlier for this example, we are kind of computing the recall for as there are there were five relevant documents, we are computing the recall for five different places. But now extending this into an interpolated average precision, particularly an 11 point interpolated average precision, we'll be computing the recall for 0, 1, I mean 0, then 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, up to 1. So what we'll be doing? As we are saying, initially when the recall point is zero, we'll be considering the precision as one. Then point one, we'll be still considering it as point one. That is, we'll be considering at each recall point, we'll be considering the maximum recall, uh, maximum precision value that we have achieved so far. So you can see these two are basically, we are adding. This is an absolute one where we are actually observing a new retrieved uh, document. But as is the first case, these three remain the same. That is, 
position 1. Then in this point, so after retrieving this, the recall is still remaining point 2, isn't it? Isn't it? Uh, so still, we will be considering it to be containing, I mean to be retrieving another uh, uh, relevant document and we will be basically considering this value up to here. Then point 0.5, uh, so still it will be point 0.5 for all of them. So we'll be computing, uh, we'll be basically considering this, as you can see. This is again a dummy one. So point four, uh, boom, 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 boom. yeah. So this is, this is, should not be using the same notation everywhere. So this is the absolute one. So this is the absolute one, this is the absolute one, and this is the absolute one. We are kind of using this here, using this here. So again, I'm repeating, I will be using the maximum recall up to that point. So earlier, I hope you can remember the, I mean, if we plot, uh, it was something like, uh, I mean, if we simply plot the uh, the um, average precision, the non-interpolated average precision, we will be getting something like this. First, this down, then some precision. So again, this is recall, and this is precision. We'll be observing something like this, but with considering this fixed points like this. Uh, is uh, 11 point fixed 11 points. So we'll be measuring the recall. So earlier we were measuring the recall here, here, and here. But now what we'll be doing is we'll be also considering the recall here, which will be the same. We'll also be considering the recall at point three, which will be the same. So this will be considered here. We will also be considering the recall at point 5, which will be basically here. And after that, as there are no relevant documents retrieved, so basically point 7, again, we will be considering for the point 8. Okay. So the thing is, with this 11 point average precision, uh, in the interpolated average precision, we are kind of kind of smoothing the uh, this plot, this plot where we are plotting the precision versus recall curve. 